Hey there, welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, so today is the YouTubers Weekly Stamping Collaboration. Hosting this week is Nerdy Creations, and the theme is Witch Cleaves. Um, so, on my nails, I kind of got a little spot, so hopefully I'll be able to cover that up. Um, I have a coat of white to make it pop, and then two coats of China Glaze Orange Knockout. And um, we are going to do, first off, uh, Born Pretty Halloween L005. I'm going to use her because she looks cute. So cool. So, I'm gonna shrink her because there's no way she might fit on my thumb, but yeah, she's not fitting anywhere else. So we are gonna shrink her. And then I'm not sure what else I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna do some stripes. So um, old um, medicine holder thingy or bottle. <laughs> words and words. So, this is my marshmallow stamper that I'm going to squish, 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 squish. Really, she doesn't want to squish in there today. Usually. There we go. I find this is a way best way that I found for me to uh, there we go so I'm going to use black so my maniology straight up black part is getting it out <laughs> without touching it. So I just kind of go round and round until she pops out. There we go. And look, she shrunk up pretty good. So I'm just going to put her aside for the moment. to put um, acetone on my scraper. Doo -doo -doo. So what I want to do, because if I stamp her directly on my nail, she's going to end up in orange, and I don't want her to be orange. Well, let's get, let's get a beige. This one is pale sand. I don't really have a lot of brown, so. Do, 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 do. So I don't want her to be like white to white. Let's hang on one sec. Okay, I just get, had to get my brush and everything out. This is the purple that I'm going to stamp with. Tie it in. So 
we're going orange and purple for Halloween for witches. Okay, let me put her aside so I don't mess her up, because you know I will. Um, now, what I am going to do is I'm going to do stripes, stripes, stripes. Um, I am using, this is my H. La Cusadora, um, which plate is this. It's the back to basics plate, and this is acrylic paint um, stamping plate, so I got to remember to use um, non-acetone, so I better change my, my cotton ball, because people say that they use um, acetone on their acrylic paints, plates. I'm sure I could. Um, they recommend you not to, so I'm not taking a chance because I don't want to mess it up so so this is the Queen series foreign pretty that's the number on it it's a purple stamping plate so Um, I just re-stamped a little bit on the bottom just because it was a little bare. So. And because this is fairly sh shallow, I'm, I'm actually going to, if you noticed, I kind of put polish over and I'm scraping with it. And I go fairly shallow with my stamping plate. So I did go over a few times um, normally I don't Let's see if I can got that a little shallow so I'm just trying to I didn't get all the way to the edge. Because my nails are kind of curved. Looks cute. I wasn't sure how this color would work on on the orange because it's so bright. So let's do from. So again very shallow. And I'm just kind of spreading the polish in there. And then pull down, rotate, rotate. So it's not too bad. Okay. Just turning my cotton ball around so I can okay. Um do, do, do. okay, let me just clean up. I 
always do this with the tape. Minimizes cleanup with acetone and a brush because most times I can pretty much get most of it off. If you're new here, you haven't seen my my tape trip trick, but. Um, you know, when I first started out, I saw, I don't even remember who I saw doing this. And I'm thinking, yeah, that's kind of silly. That won't work. And then I kept doing the acetone with a little brush. Or actually, I started with a Q-tip. Q-tips just made things worse. And then you'd end up with fuzzies. And then finally, I'm like, I'm going to try this tape thing. And then since then, it's like, whoa. This was genius. So whoever thought of doing the tape thing, thank you. I appreciate you. Because it sure does make life easy. Okay. So hang on. Let me finish cleaning up and I'll be right back. Okay. So I've cleaned it up. I'll probably have to do a little, little bit more cleanup. But... Um, I'm going to put my witch on my middle na mail, blah, nail. So I'm using Pro FX Sticky Base Coat. You can also use Maniology Sticky Base Coat um, or Orly Bonder or Yellow Stopper or a clear um, nail polish. And wait till it's tacky, not, not um, dry. Don't use a fast dry because it it dries too quickly. Okay, so I'm just gonna give this a minute. I'm still trying to decide what to do for this ring finger. I might do this little witchy poo. Might stick her on there. Or you know, some days it's like, oh, I wish you guys could tell me what to do before we do it. I'm trying to do is kind of try and center. Ah, crap. She's not center. <laughs> Damn it. So I probably what I should have done is painted her and or like put a clear coat peeled her off. <laughs> okay, so I'm not redoing her though. So I'm just doing this. I'm gonna do another. I need. <laughs> I need to buy another one of these little stampers so I can do multiple. I wonder how squishy I can get Happy Halloween. Let's see. I don't think that'll fit onto my nail. Okay, hang on one sec. 
Okay, so I added some little stars. I've got a sticky base coat on here. So there's no way in heck that I'm gonna get this all on my nail. So I'm gonna get rid of the little the happy Halloween part. Cause it ain't fitting. At least aim this one center. I'm putting the little stars on. There we go. Well, it wasn't a total failure. <laughs> So, um, bum, bum, bum. I don't like the way that hat looks, so I'm going to add some black. So I'm a little sad my little witchy poo is a little off kilter, but, you know, stuff happens. We're not perfect. Okay, yeah, a little sad she's not totally center. Actually, what I might do is add like a little um, spider web on this side. That might work. Okay, um, <laughs> I am gonna add my Maniology smudge free top coat, and then I'm gonna add my regular top coat. I'm gonna add a little spider web over here just to make it look like it's not so bad. <laughs> okay, so hang on. I'll be right back. Okay, I figure you might as well watch this. Since you've come this far, come a little farther with me. <laughs> watch me try and fix a boo-boo. So... At least it kind of fills in the nail a little bit so it doesn't look that bad. Yeah. I'm just gonna keep telling myself. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks for hanging out with me while I do my nails. I do appreciate it. I appreciate all the time you guys spend with me. Um, I love you guys. And remember, um, oh, I am going to have everybody's um, videos who participated this week um, linked down below and I will have our um, collage photo at the end and then as well as everybody's individual um, manicures, the a picture of their manicures at the end as well and of course puppies because we can't live without the puppies. Um, okay, I love you guys, and remember, be someone sparkle. Bye!
So we're telling people in general, we can think that are inherently dangerous. And our safety record would put GM to shame or any other industry. And so what I'm doing here, I'm going to make a fireball. That's a one pound propane. Take the go in. And we put a small uh, black powder charge in there. It'll shoot that nice here. A spark of there. And uh, we'll get uh, some magic out of she never get used to uh, the amount of power you have as far as the, uh, the explosions and uh, uh, fireballs or, you know, bullet hits and things. Why do you fight?